If there is one challenge that beats all other challenges in astrophotography, it is by far integrated flux nebula. Integrated flux nebulae are just beautiful giant clouds of dust that orbit from outside the body of the galaxy. These are extremely difficult targets to shoot because they are insanely dim, and the kind of IFN target I decided to go for tonight is the surrounding IFN of M81 and M82 in Ursa Major. This is a region of the sky which is rich with integrated flux nebula and will make for an amazing image with M81 and M82 right there involved. You don't want to be using any narrowband filter on this target at all. The IFN is a broad spectrum target, so you just want to use something like a UV IR cut maybe. Although I will probably be using a dual band filter, a dual narrowband filter on one of my nights to get some HA data on the galaxies themselves and not really have anything to do with the IFN at all on that night. I've already got about 30 minutes of HA data and uh, I still really haven't combined it yet. I have about 6.5 or actually no 6.8 hours of data so far on these objects with the IFN around them. So I just need a bit more to kind of pull out that IFN more, although you can definitely see it on the image already. The gear we are using tonight is the same as always. We have the SIM26 mount. We have the ASI 585. And then we have the ASI air controlling everything, of course. And then, of course, the optical train itself. We got the Quattro 150P with the nice coma corrector that actually comes in the deal. Something I've rarely talked about on this channel is just how good this telescope really is for its price. You get the telescope itself and the coma corrector for about $600 and you get you can get amazing detail with this, especially paired with a camera like the 585 with small pixels, you can resolve really good detail. So this is a super, super sharp scope and if I had a Batsonov mask, I feel like I could even get way sharper with it because I'm just not sure how accurate focus I'm getting. I'm gonna try to shoot as long as exposures as I can to really make sure I get a nice, well, signal to noise at every single exposure and get a, a good amount of data in each exposure because this is super dim. So if you are shooting these targets, you need to be using like five minute or long, longer exposures to uh, get this really good, pretty much with any dark nebulae, whether it's eye. All right, it is dark now. I'm already, uh, I might check my polar alignment again, but I have left my rig out for a few days since it's been super clear these past couple days. So I may only just really have to kind of refocus maybe, but I'll be collimated and good to go and all that's ready. Uh, so yeah, we just gotta get up in imaging now. Uh, hopefully I can get maybe three or four hours, maybe more in it tonight. And uh, I'll be shooting again tomorrow night, probably something else though. So I want to try to get uh, a lot of data on it tonight so I can kind of finish this project and move on to some other things. I have been working on other things, but I really just want to knock this one out of the way. Okay, we got our focus a lot better now. So now we are going to go over to the polar alignment menu. And we are going to hit this play button right here. It's going to take a sub plate solve it so it knows where it is press next and then the mount is going to start moving now there it goes and now gave us an update on how off our polar alignment is so we just need to get that at those numbers as low as possible okay so we are going to move the scope down just a little bit with that little knob get that spider out of here uh oh okay we're going to press refresh and it should be in better polar alignment. All right, there we got a pretty good polar alignment there. So we're going to press finish and then go back. And since we're focused, it's pretty much time to slew to our target, which is M81 and M82. Okay, we're going to start guiding now. 
we just took a single three second sub so you know just uh, kind of a plate solving make sure we're framed up like last time kind of sub and everything seems to be going good so yeah we just gotta keep imaging now